All right, this is a step-by-step -step AutoCAD uh, installation tutorial. 99% of you can just ignore it and just go with, the, uh, go with the, uh, the links that I provide. All you have to do is install or register them. I'm sorry, first register and just download the program and install it, okay? It's very simple. Almost all of you are going to know how to do it. For those of you who don't know, know how to do that, here's a step-by-step -step tutorial for at least for, for the Macs, okay? Um, and it's going to be similar for, for Windows people, okay? One special note, though, is that, um, and then you can just turn me off right after I say this special note. Um, this is a pretty light package, so you guys, if you guys don't have a very good computer, you can install it on there, and it should run okay. Um, I had a uh, Windows uh, junkie computer over summertime, um, and I installed it, and it worked, uh, you know, perfectly fine for what I needed to do, you know, and, and, you know, so that, so that should work. So that's, you don't need to go out and go buy a really expensive computer or whatever for this. You can just use the one that, you know, um, that you have. The other special note is that um, from now on, you probably want to get some sort of a uh, an external disk drive or something like that uh, just to save your solid edge files, which will be larger. Um, you know, AutoCAD files are pretty small, um, but you know, like I said, the uh, the 3D CAD program that we use, Solid Edge, um, those can be pretty big, so it may require an external hard drive. Um, so, two special notes, and then that's it. If you know how to install stuff and type, you can just disregard this entire tutorial. Good stuff. So I'm going to teach you right now how to just install your student, um, the the AutoCAD version of your student software. So just go to a browser. This is my Macintosh. I just use Safari. It'll work with PC and uh, Windows. It's no problem there. Um, just go to you know a search engine. Type in Autodesk. Okay. So here, how it pulled up. Go down to Autodesk Education Community here. Okay. And then right here, Student Software Downloads. Click that. And then enter your email. I'm going to get an, a, um, an error message here because I'm already associated with the Autodesk community. So just disregard, you know, add I'm a student or whatever. So continue to step, whatever. So there is my, e you know, you guys won't get this because I'm assuming you guys haven't, you know, you're not already associated with it. But, um, you know, just go through the steps and uh, go ahead and install. I'm just going to um, now... You know, once you finish up the registration process, um, you know, you'll need to go to the actual download center, okay, and that's where you'll have a listing of the different Autodesk um, products, one being Autodesk, or AutoCAD 2012, which is the one that we're looking for, okay. So it should be up right there, smack dab at the top, okay. So let's go ahead and download that now. Uh, there we go. Sorry, so your that's just your registration, whatever ID. Waiting, waiting, waiting. What the? There we go. Okay. So just find Auto, AutoCAD, okay, it's, you know, it's down here for whatever reason, so, sorry. So just do 2012, so we all know what we're talking about, um, but you can, you know, choose the most recent version if you want to go above and beyond, but I guess just for continuity, let's just stick to the 2012 version, because that's what's in the lab and all that kind of stuff. So, oh, uh, crap so let's see here this should have been for Mac as well for the Windows guys you're gonna need to know if, you're, if your computer has is running 32-bit uh, and 64-bit just do the like you know computer right-click properties and if you don't know how to figure that out just email me I'll tell you uh, it's pretty easy oh AutoCAD for Mac what an idiot I am okay there we go my bad. So, Windows people, that's where you go, okay? 
for Mac people, this is where you go. All right, I feel so stupid. So for continuity again, there we go, English, French, barely know how to speak English, definitely don't know how to speak French, that's what we're gonna do. There we go. Browser download, cool, sounds good to me. Okay, now that you've downloaded it, go find it in your download, wherever you downloaded, you know, for, for Mac guys or in girls. It'll be in their beautiful downloads folder, probably. If you're using Safari, go ahead and install. Continue. Continue. You might get like something like guys uh, verifying, making sure the software is not naughty and um, Okay, so one little special note here. Um, I had some problem with the serial number and product key. Turns out that um, <clears throat> you guys won't run into this problem, but just, I don't know, if you do, I had to use my old product, my serial number, um, because for some reason it knew I was trying to install a new version or a new, another version, I don't, version of it. It's the same version, I don't know. It was trying, you know, so whatever. So, it appears like it, you know, so you guys won't run into this problem. Just make sure to type in your, um, you know, the, the serial number of product key that you got off the browser. So, yours should be this, something like this, you know. So just cut and paste, put it in there. And then, you know. Okay. So go ahead and. Pause it so you guys don't have to wait for it to write, write all the files and everything. Okay, cool. So it looks like uh, the installation was successful. Uh, so just go ahead and close that and we'll see what kind of problems we had had with. Okay, so I'm just going to go to my applications folder here. Where would it be? Ooh, there we go. So, okay. So for Windows and PC guys, it after the install, you should have something that says, you know, Autodesk in your, you know, Applications folder. Windows, what it goes to like the program. I don't even know. I don't. I don't know where it goes. Just uh, wherever you set it to the C drive. I don't know. Just find it, open up the Autodesk, AutoCAD, AutoCAD app. Okay, cool. So that bouncing means it's doing something, so it's loading. It's a good sign. so many programs running right now so that'd be why it's taking forever oh, okay yes all right we know that just says it's gonna be stamped with the education thing if you try to you know reproduce it or, or you know share it with anybody that's cool you're just sharing it with me so God's name all right
All right, so notifications. Looks like there's a patch of some sort in the world. All right, cool. So that's that's nice. So from here, you can you just pretty much stop, you know, watching if you if you already know what you're doing. If you've ever used a computer, you guys are like 18, 19, right? Or probably around that range. Um, maybe a little older, I don't know. Uh, so you guys are much better at this than I am, but, you know, so basic, but just want to make sure that everybody knows what they're doing. Okay. So if you have, uh, just follow the directions. Let's see, I don't care about that drawing. Alright, so you guys should be set. Um, good luck.